right, coming up next, it's a Bantamweight matchup between Sugar Sean O'Malley and Thomas Almeida. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You watch the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. All right, now our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight scrap. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height and a similar reach. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, four losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Thomas Tomidas Almeida! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, one loss. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Sugar, Sean O'Malley! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Underway, and we've got a striker who is forced to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He loaded up there on that high kick. That'll land it clean. Lands a nice one, too. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Body shot after body shot. He keeps landing these strikes, really zapping the gas tank of his opponent. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Effective punch there by Sean O'Malley. He is all about that left kick to the body. Hook lands. Oh! Just over three minutes to go in our first round. All right, single collar tie now. Ooh, big shot to the body. And he lands a nice kick. And he landed the right hand there. All right, well, the strike lands there, so he did hit the desired target, but... It almost looked like slow motion to me. Yeah, he's moving in slow motion. He's throwing everything at his opponent, and he couldn't get him out of there. Now it's just a matter of trying to survive and not get knocked out himself. 
big punch landed. Oh, oh he's hurt his goal! He got it! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 43 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Travis Kevin Hurst Almeida! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.